Hi everyone, this is Dr. Nitin Choda and in this video I'll give you the latest status of the $300 a week lost wages assistance program that was created by the President's executive orders. At this moment, 45 states have been approved for funds by FEMA. Remember, FEMA is reallocating $44 billion through the DRF fund, the Disaster Relief Fund, and that money is being allocated to states by way of grants. And then states are then required to distribute this money according to certain rules and regulations which requires them to re-engineer their systems, distribute this money on top of regular state unemployment insurance benefits to their residents. So in this video, I'm going to give you a list of the 45 states that at the time I'm recording this video have been approved by FEMA. So on your screen, you'll see a list on the FEMA website and this is the entire list as we scroll down the website. You can see that FEMA has approved the Lost Wages Assistance Program most recently for Delaware, Illinois and Wisconsin and also South Carolina. So many, many, many states have been approved. In fact, I'm going to give you the full list of the 45 states right now that have been approved so far for by FEMA for the Lost Wages Assistance Program. Now, keep in mind that as I give you this list of states that it is up to each individual state to distribute this money. Different states are distributing the money at different intervals. Not everyone's doing it at the same time. Some states like Alaska have said that they could take as much as eight weeks, as long as eight weeks, going into October to send out the funds. Some states like Arizona have already started sending out the funds. In fact, Arizona was the first state to send out the funds and then Texas, Louisiana and other states started sending out the funds. In this video, I'll tell you all the 45 states that have been approved for the Lost Wages Assistance Program. I'll also give you the list of states that are paying the full $400 which is only a small number. A majority of states are only doing the $300 a week. Let's give you the 45 states that have, uh, that have received funds from FEMA for the Lost Wages Assistance Program. These states are Delaware, Illinois, Wisconsin, South Carolina, North Dakota, Minnesota, Florida, which by the way got the grant on the, 9th, on the 29th of August, Hawaii, Wyoming, Oregon, West Virginia, Ohio, Virginia, Maine, Arkansas, Connecticut, Pennsylvania, Washington, New Hampshire, New York, Alaska, Georgia, Vermont, Mississippi, Tennessee, Rhode Island, Massachusetts, Alabama, California, which got the approval on the 21st of August, Indiana, North Carolina, Texas, Kentucky, Michigan, Maryland, Idaho, Oklahoma, Montana, Colorado, Missouri, and Utah, all three of which, all three states got approved on the 16th of August. And the 15th of August, uh, FEMA had approved Arizona, Iowa, Louisiana, and New Mexico. So that's a list of all the 45 states that have been approved for the Lost Wages Assistance Program so far. And you have the full list, and we'll also provide you with the link in the description section below to the FEMA website. Now, the, the states, the other states, the remaining states include Kansas, Nevada, Nebraska, New Jersey, and South Dakota. Now, South Dakota declined the funds. Uh, Kansas Governor Laura Kelly announced last week that the state would apply for the funds, and the state also plans to kick in $100 per week. Nevada Governor Steve uh, Sisolak announced on the 25th of August that the state had begun the application process. New Jersey submitted its application at the end of last week. Nebraska Governor Pete Trickett said he's still analyzing the state costs involved in participating in the federal program and South Dakota, like I mentioned, uh, has opted out. The states have until the 10th of September to apply. Some states, like I said, like Arizona, have already been approved and have started paying out the benefits. Now, some states are going to pay the full $400, which is the $300 a week from the federal government, plus an extra $100 state match. Now, these five states include Kentucky, Kansas, Montana, Vermont, and West Virginia. Once again, Kansas, Kentucky, Montana, Vermont, and West Virginia. These, these states have all indicated that they'll pay the full $400 a week, including the $100 a week that comes in from the states. And in fact, Kentucky Governor Andy Bashir said the state will provide an extra $100 in weekly benefits using the remaining CARES Act money at a cost of approximately $24 million for three weeks of coverage. West Virginia Governor Jim Justice said his state will cap remaining CARES Act funds to provide an additional $100 per week, as did Montana's Labor Department. Now, Vermont's Governor Phil Scott did say last week that he requested $20 million in relief funding from the state's legislature to provide an additional $100 per week to eligible claimants for three weeks. Now, keep in mind, this money is only going to be for three weeks. So, it is something, but it is not a whole lot 
this money uh, was never intended to be a replacement to the $600 a week booster. I'm not just talking about the amount, but I'm talking about the actual delivery mechanism. I'm talking about the, the, the duration of the delivery. This money is a completely separate program. It's a workaround. It's not it's not money that was appropriated by Congress that's flowing through the state systems. States have to set up a completely new system. So again, this is, a, you know, this is not a long-term solution for most of us. In addition, it's not much money. So that's where things stand right now. FEMA is only guaranteeing three weeks of funding to approve states. And after that, FEMA has said that any additional disbursements will be made on a weekly basis to ensure that enough funding is available for states that apply for the grant assistance. So in other words, FEMA is going to say, hey, apply every week, we'll, we'll give you the money if it's available. In other words, the money may run out. So that's where, that's where things stand right now. In fact, this means that states who don't apply quickly, states that have been, that there's, where there's been a delay in applying, may simply not even receive the funds. So that's where, that's where things stand right now. It's not an ideal situation by any stretch of the imagination. And let's, uh, let, me, uh, let me advise my subscribers that these payments are indeed retroactive to August 1st because that's when the $600 unemployment benefits expired. So uh, individuals would get that money. But again, this money is expected to run out fairly quickly. After the federal funds run out, the administration has indicated that states would need to cover the costs to continue paying out these benefits. In other words, they're telling the states, hey, come up with the money yourself. And many states have indicated that they simply don't have the money to do so. I mean, the states, majority of the states have, haven't even been able to put in the $100 a week on top of the $300 a week. So for them to be able to put in the full $300 a week is, is out of the question. So again, you know, this was meant to be a short term, a short term fix until a deal could be worked out uh, between between the House and between the, the administration. And right now, at, at the time, uh, you know, you're watching this, at the time I'm recording this, there is no deal. Now, it is possible uh, that Congress will pass legislation to extend the federal supplement benefits after it reconvenes, because, you know, everyone's going to be reconvening in a few days. But at this point in time, uh, you know, a lot of the talks have broken down. That's where things stand right now, everybody. Now, the best thing you can do if you do want to help is comment below. Uh, and let us know which state you're in and whether you receive the benefits. This is how you can actually help the community. We need to be able to come together at this point in time. We need to be able to help each other. Because at this point in time, you know, when I release the videos, I'm providing you the most recent information that I have. But once I release the video, information can change. So if you want to help, please type out in the comment section. Let other members of our community know, hey, I'm in this state, I got these many benefits. Or if you have any tips or any suggestions on how to how to continue getting the benefits, whether there are any specific recertification requirements in your state, whether there are any specific requirements, work search requirements in your state, whether you have to attest to certain things. You, I, you, let's help each other because we are all in this together and we are all struggling and we all need to help each other get through this. I really appreciate you watching me and my team work very hard behind the scenes to create this content for you. So if you want to help us, please click like, please subscribe, please enable notifications so you get an instant update from us going forward. Speaking of updates, sometimes YouTube doesn't release updates. So make sure you bookmark youtube.com forward slash ignition time. That's youtube.com forward slash ignition time. So you get, uh, so you can visit our homepage and you can see videos we release. You can also go to ignition time dot com forward slash alerts that's ignition time dot com forward slash alerts and get email alerts from us you can also get your cell phone out send a text message with the word ignition or time to 70,000 that's 70000 and you can get on our sms list you can opt out of the sms or uh, email list at any time you can also follow us on instagram our instagram handle is ignition underscore time that's ignition underscore time so follow us on instagram for updates there we release videos at 2 p.m east coast time most days of the week once again thank you so much my name is dr nitin choda i'm looking for forward to seeing you in the next episode of Ignition Time. Thank you. Bye.